Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 3, Week 5 Milk Base Let's learn about Determining the missing term in a sequence of numbers and finding the missing term in equation In this lesson, you are expected to Determines the missing terms in a sequence of numbers, for example, odd numbers, even numbers, multiples of number, factors of a number, etc. And finds the missing number in an equation involving properties of operations. Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about determining the missing term in a sequence of numbers and finding the missing term in equation. Take a look around you. What do you see? You see patterns of things or objects, right? The activities that you need every day also follow a pattern. The way you arrange your toys or things in cabinet follows a pattern. Patterns take many forms. Numbers are also used to form patterns. When you skip count, you are creating a pattern. Odd and even numbers are used in number sequence. In finding the missing terms in a sequence of numbers and finding the missing terms in an equation, we will apply the following strategies. Number sequence it is a list of numbers arranged in a row. Terms are numbers in the sequence. Ascending order. It is arranging numbers from least to greatest. Descending order. It is arranging numbers from greatest to least. Equation. A mathematical sentence that states the equality of expressions. Let us review about the properties of multiplication. The first one is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. When a factor is multiplied by the sum of two terms, it is essential to multiply each of the two numbers by the factors and finally perform the addition operation. For example, 4 times 3 plus 5. First, multiply 4 times 3 and then multiply 4 times 5. Get the answer, 4 times 3 equals 12 and 4 times 5 equals 20. Then add 12 plus 20 equals 32. Another properties of multiplication is the commutative property. The order in which we multiply numbers does not change the product. Like for example, 5 times 4 equals 4 times 5. If we multiply 5 times 4 and 4 times 5, the answers are the same. 20. The order in which we multiply numbers does not change the product. Another properties of multiplication is the associative property. The way in which factors are grouped in a multiplication problem does not change the product. For example, 5 times open and close parentheses 4 times 3 equals open and close parentheses 5 times 4 times 3. So 5 times multiply 4 times 3 equals 12. Then 5 times 4 equals 20 times 3. 5 times 12 equals 60 and 20 times 3 equals 60. We can see that the factors are grouped in a multiplication problem, but it doesn't change the product. Another property is the identity property. The sum of any number and zero is the original number. The product of any number and one gives the given number. 
Zero is called the identity element in addition, and one is the identity element of multiplication. For example, zero plus three equals three, and one times three equals three. When we add the given number to zero, the answer is still the given number. Zero plus three equals three. When we multiply the given number to one, the answer is also the given number. One times three equals three. Look at the sequence of numbers. What are the missing terms? In example one, the given pattern is seven, ten, the missing term, 16, and another missing term. So how to get the missing terms? First, let's analyze the number after 7, which is 10. How it becomes 10? It becomes 10 by adding 3 to 7. So 7 plus 3 equals 10. Therefore, if we add 3 to 10, the answer is 13. Let's check if the answer is 16, if we add 3 to 13. So 13 plus 3 equals 16. Therefore, 16 plus 3 equals 19. In the number sequence, each term is formed by adding 3 to the preceding number. So the missing terms are 10 plus 3 equals 13, and 16 plus 3 equals 19. See to it that the pattern is true to the whole sequence from 7 to 19. Another example. The given pattern is 45, 37, 29, missing terms, and 5. The sequence of number is in descending order. So that means we have to subtract. Get the difference between 45 and 37. The difference of 45 and 37 is 8. So that means subtract 45 to 8. So the difference is 8. Subtract 45 to 8. 45 minus 8 equals 37. Same with 37 and 29. The difference is also 8. 37 minus 8 equals 29. So if we subtract 8 to 29, or 29 minus 8, the missing term is 21. And then 21 minus 8, the missing term is 13. So the missing terms are 21 and 13. Since 13 is 8, more than the last term, which is 5. 13 minus 8 equals 5. Another example. In example 3, the given pattern is 6, 8, 12, the missing term, 26, and another missing term. To find the missing term in the pattern above, you need to find the difference of the two consecutive terms, which are 8 minus 6 equals 2, and 12 minus 8 equals 4. That means 6 plus 2 equals 8. And 12 minus 8 equals 4. That means 8 plus 4 equals 12. The difference is a multiple of 2. 2, 4, then adding 6 to 12 or 12 plus 6 equals 18. So the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6. And then adding 8 to 18 or 18 plus 8 equals 26. And add 10 to 26 becomes 36. 26 plus 10 equals 36. The difference is a multiple of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Hence, 18 and 36 are the missing terms. Finding the missing term using distributive property of multiplication over addition. For example, to find the missing terms, you need to expand the equation. Remember that in expanding the equation above, you need to apply the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Therefore, the missing terms are 3 and 5. 4 times 3 equals 12, then 4 times 5 equals 20. 
Then add the product. 12 plus 20 equals 32. Same with the equation at the left. When you add 3 plus 5 equals 8. Then multiply it to 4. 4 times 8 equals 32. Next is finding the missing term using commutative property of addition. For example, what is the missing term? Blank plus 9 equals 9 plus 10. Then the sum is 19 equals 19. The missing term in the given equation is 10. Since changing the order of the addends does not affect its sum. Next is finding the missing term using associative property of addition. Example, the missing term is inside the open and close parentheses. Blank plus 9 plus 8 equals 7 plus 9 plus 8. The sum is 24 equals 24. Applying the associative property of addition, you can conclude that the missing term is 7. Since changing the grouping of the addends does not affect the sum of the equation. Next is finding the missing term using identity property. For example, the missing term times 250 equals 250. The missing term is 1. Since the identity element of multiplication is 1, thus it gives the same number. Another example, 122 plus the missing term equals 122. The missing term is 0. Since the identity element of addition is 0, thus it gives the same number. Now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1 Find the missing term in each of the following number sequence. Number 1, 22, 24, 26, the two missing terms, and 32. The pattern is add 2 to each number. So 22 plus 2 equals 24. Then 24 plus 2 equals 26. 26 plus 2 equals 28. Then 28 plus 2 equals 30. Then 30 plus 2 equals 32. So the missing terms are 28 and 30. Number 2. 31, 36, the two missing terms, 51, 56. The pattern is add 5 to each number. 31 plus 5 equals 36. Then 36 plus 5 equals 41. Then 41 plus 5 equals 46. 46 plus 5 equals 51, and 51 plus 5 equals 56. The missing terms are 41 and 46. Number 3, 84, missing term 76, 72, missing term 64. The pattern is subtract 4 to each number. So 84 minus 4 equals 80. Then 80 minus 4 equals 76. 76 minus 4 equals 72. Then 72 minus 4 equals 68. Then 68 minus 4 equals 64. The missing terms are 80 and 68. Number 4. 63, 56, missing term, 42, missing term, and 28. The pattern is... Subtract 7 to each number. So 63 minus 7 equals 56. 56 minus 7 equals 49. 49 minus 7 equals 42. And 42 minus 7 equals 35. And 35 minus 7 equals 28. So the missing terms are 49 and 35. Number 5. 2, 3, 5. Missing term, 12. Missing term. So the pattern is ascending order. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Then 3 plus 2 equals 5. Then 5 plus 3 equals 8. Then 8 plus 4 equals 12. 12 plus 5 equals 17. And number 6, 56, 55, 52, 47, and the two missing terms. 
The pattern is odd numbers. Subtract odd numbers. 56 minus 1 equals 55. 55 minus 3 equals 52. 52 minus 5 equals 47. 47 minus 7 equals 40. Then 40 minus 9 equals 31. Learning task 2. Supply the missing terms in the equation below. What is the missing term? For number 1, the missing term is 6. Number 2, what are the missing terms? The missing terms are 4 and 4. Number 3, what are the missing terms? Very good! The missing terms are 5, 4. Number 4, what are the missing terms? Very good! The missing terms are 7 plus 8. Number 5, what are the missing terms? Very good! The missing terms are 3, 12. Number 6, what is the missing term? Very good, the missing term is 9. Number 7, what are the missing term? Very good, the missing term are 4 and 2. Number 8, what are the missing term? Very good, the missing terms are 9 plus 8. Number 9. What are the missing terms? Very good. The missing terms are 105 and 14. And number 10. What is the missing term? Very good. The missing term is 3. For learning task 3, Choose the word inside the box that will make this statement correct. Let's answer. Patterns are arrangement or design you regularly found in an object. The arrangement of an object should be easy to recognize and consistent. Sequence are list of numbers in orderly manner. The numbers in a sequence are called terms. Sometimes, the difference between two terms helps determine the missing terms in a given sequence. Remember, to find the missing terms in a number sequence, you must first look to its pattern. A number sequence is a list of numbers arranged following a pattern. Each number in a sequence is called term. To find the missing number in an equation, Determine the property used in the number sentence such as commutative property, associative property, distributive property, and identity property. So kids, do you understand our topic today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!